Welcome to another service video. Today we'll be covering the evacuation process for a DOAS or dedicated outdoor air system. The evacuation process involves pulling a vacuum on the refrigeration system that's free of refrigerant. If a DOAS system still has refrigerant in it, refer first to our video on recovering refrigerant. System evacuation can have many variables ranging from system tonnage, levels of contamination, to quality of equipment being used. First, let's look at the equipment, starting with the vacuum pump. It's recommended to use a two-stage vacuum pump to increase efficiency. Start with new vacuum pump oil. Vacuum pump oil is extremely hydroscopic or moisture absorbing, so starting with fresh oil will make things go a lot faster. It's good to test your vacuum pump and micron gauge prior to the system evacuation. Attach the micron gauge directly to the quarter inch vacuum pump inlet fitting and verify that the pump is capable of achieving a vacuum level of 100 microns or less. It's always recommended to use at least 3 8 or half inch hoses for evacuation as these hoses have less friction than quarter inch hoses and will speed up the evacuation time. Do not use a standard refrigeration gauge manifold for the evacuation process as it too adds friction and increases evacuation time. As a general rule, the less fittings and hoses used, the better. Now let's start the evacuation process. Start by attaching a valve core removal tools to both the discharge and suction line access ports to remove the Schrader valves. Connect a vacuum tee to the pump inlet and the two large diameter hoses to flare connections on the tee. Connect the other end of the hoses to the core removal tool previously connected to the discharge and suction line. Connect a micron gauge to the reheat coil access port or liquid line access port by the filter dryer. Next, be sure there are no isolated sections within the system to be evacuated. Place the system in evacuation mode using the HMI. Enter the HMI menu function by pressing the top two buttons simultaneously and then navigate to the service menu. From there, go down to the test menu and finally select evacuation mode and enable. When the system is in evacuation mode, the EEV and reheat valves will open and allow full access to the system via the high and low pressure service ports. Ensure the compressor does not run during this time by pressing the off reset button on the compressor VFD. Start the vacuum pump and open any isolation valves between the pump and the system. If the vacuum pump is equipped with a gas ballast, be sure that it is open to start the evacuation process, which will help keep water vapor from condensing in the vacuum pump. Once the micron level reaches 10,000 to 5,000 microns, you can close the gas ballast for the remainder of the evacuation. Pull a vacuum until a level of 1,000 microns is reached, and then shut off the isolation valves while leaving the pump running. Leave the system this way long enough to get a status on the evacuation. A rise in the pressure after a short stabilization process indicates that there is still moisture in the system or a small leak is present in the system. Open the isolation valves and allow the system to continue the evacuation process until the vacuum level is 500 microns or less. Then repeat the standing test to determine if there is a decrease in leak rate after the stabilization of the vacuum. If the standing test continues to go above 1000 microns but levels off at some point, it's an indication of moisture still in the system. If the standing test continues to go above 1,000 microns and eventually rises back to atmospheric pressure, it would be an indication that the system has a leak and must be found and repaired before continuing the evacuation process. If it's determined that the cause of the rise is moisture related, you can change the vacuum pump oil and perform a triple evacuation. To perform the triple evacuation, pump down the system to 1,500 microns and then break the vacuum using dry nitrogen back to atmospheric pressure. After backfilling with dry nitrogen to atmospheric pressure, run the vacuum pump a second time to 1500 microns and again break the vacuum with nitrogen. Finally, operate the vacuum pump a third time to 500 microns, close the isolation valves and turn the vacuum pump off. Once the system is able to pull down to 500 microns, perform another standing test if the vacuum holds and does not rise above 1,000 microns in 20 minutes, the evacuation is complete and the system is ready to charge. Check the description below for a link to other DOAS videos. For questions on this or any of our products, please feel free to call or email. Thanks for watching.